Y'all can see my bra, how dirty it is. Look at this. You can see my ointment. So, so you can see like, like the little dirty. Look how dirty this is. Oh my goodness. I need to wash it, y'all. I need to wash this. Like, now I actually can wash it because I've been wearing it, but now it's time to wash it. Look at that. That's from like, um, fluid leak or like, just little like, Alright you guys, so I'm all dressed and ready. I'm all ready to head out. This is how it's looking. Honestly, I'm really liking it because now that my boobs are lifted, I feel like you can see more of my stomach and my body. Like, the big boobs was like, it was so big, so it just like was all the first thing you see. So, my hair is done. Easy, slick little bun, but yeah, I'm just taking a second to admire. I wish I could really show you guys, but that's personal, you know, that's my, that's my privates. So, but you guys can see the bra, like it's just, it's definitely an improvement. Um, I wonder if they're going to go down into eyes. I'm going to talk to the surgeon today. He's going to examine me, most likely see like if everything's good and like, you know, probably talk to me because I actually have a few questions like, are they swollen? Are they going to stay this size? And you know, just to see. Let me show you guys the scar cream I've been using. Like, I wish I had the scar cream when I had my BBO because you guys know how insecure and mad and upset I get when I have, when I talk about my BBL scars because the scar incision marks are very bad. For the breast surgery though, it's like a huge scar. So I've actually never had like a stitches or like a really big cut like that. So the whole boob actually has a really big scar. So they um, gave you this ointment and it's actually really good. It's um, a cream, it says restoration protective cream. So it's actually really good. And the surgeon even said the um, good thing about boob surgery is that your um, your scars heal pretty well. Like, so I heard your scars heal pretty well and the scars pretty much dissolve. So that's so good for the chest area. So, but I'm gonna do a QA and a and I'm gonna answer a lot of you guys' questions later on in this video. So I'm about ready, I'm gonna head to the surgeon and I will meet you guys at the surgeon's office. Yeah, I'm so mad. I forgot my vlog camera, like I'm very mad. I left it in the bag and I'm pissed because I wanted to record it for you guys, but I'm here in the office waiting. Yes, I'm just waiting. And I want to record because I wanted to show you guys what the surgeon was going to say about my updates. But your girl brought her vlog camera. I'm out of it, okay? I'm actually not on my meds. I was sick of my pain meds and it made me really drowsy, but I'm not on those. I forgot them just because I'm stupid. I'm mad, okay? I'm very mad. Alright, y'all, so I'm in surgeon's office now and I was talking to the nurse and I was asking her questions which I forgot to record like I gotta get back on my back for y'all because I've been forgetting a lot of stuff to record but she said about three to four weeks they'll start to get softer because they're very hard still so about three to four weeks they'll start to get a little softer and I guess drop a little bit to look more natural because they're extremely perky like when I take my bra off they're still this perky like the bra probably makes it look perky but even without the bra, like they're extremely perky. So I'm like, looks a little too perky. She said three, four weeks, they'll start to drop and um, look more natural. But look, look at these implants. This is how an implant looks. I did not get this, you guys. Mine are natural, so that's good. <laughs> my friend, my friend. Hi. Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm feeling better. You know, I thought about you the other day because I, I, I happened to see this video of... The YouTube uh, one. Yeah. Oh, you then, watched it? Yeah, I watched some of it, uh, you know, because my where I was, the reception was bad. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's so funny. You, know? <laughs> yeah, you stand up, okay? Okay. Please tell me you love those. I do. Yeah? Oh, that's really Yeah, ridiculous. this is major difference. Yes. Yeah, you did very good. And my dear, they look like you have good no, kids. no kids. No kids. <laughs> uh, you can't even tell. Right, where are the implants? Yeah. Where are the implants? Uh huh. It looks like I have <laughs> some, and I don't. Yeah, you did amazing for Catch sure. Yeah. <laughs> Give me take this other one. You don't mind. That's okay. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing, though. You know. <laughs> you, you're in the public eye, and you, mm -hmm. you guys, you know, are just gonna be, you know, on yeah. camera in different situations, and so yeah, and have some, yeah, and also, I mean, this is just gonna add to your look so much, you know. I'm so for happy sure. for you. Very, very happy for you. Yeah, you did so good. Oh, 
Okay. Ready to start working out? Yeah, okay. Ten weeks, okay? Ten more weeks? Oh my goodness. You can do lower body. Okay, squats, okay. lunges, you can walk, no running. Okay. Okay. Walk on a treadmill. Like okay everyone, this is Dr. Wayne here. We're five days post op from a better breast lift. This is our young patient who had sagging to the breast after her pregnancies. We use her own tissue to reconstruct the breast, and as you can see. It is round and perky, and if I didn't tell you, you would think I used an implant to create this look, when in fact, this is uh, just her own tissue. The scars are healing very well. This is five days out, and as you can imagine, once it heals completely, these scars are gonna be very, very hard to see. I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm very happy for our patient, and uh, I really am uh, very appreciative that she's allowed me to show parts of the surgery to help educate our patients. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, so my appointment went so good. My arms are like, I don't know why, I think it's this arm more like he said, it's like the, the main muscles over here. So my left arm is like really sore, but I'm getting my endurance back. I'm getting my mobility back. I'm able to move more because like I was out like a light, honey, okay? I was out when I first had my surgery, like, and then he was picking a little bit of my um, incisions up. I was like, kind of hurt a little bit, but that's good. Everything looks good. I'm going to come back and see the surgeon again in about two and a half months. So I guess he wants to come back in two and a half months and see how my boobs look and how I'm doing. Honestly, though, too, you guys, I'm so sick of wearing this bra. Like, it brings back memories of my BBL surgery because I have to wear this thing 24 hours a day for, like, the whole month. No, I think for like two, three weeks, and then I can start wearing it at night, but I've had it on for a week straight, and I feel like I'm living in this thing, and it's so uncomfortable. Like, it's literally making my back hurt, like, from the band. Literally, you guys, my back hurts so bad, and normally, I get, like, at least two massages a month, and I can't even get a massage because I can't lay on my tatas. So, I'm going to ask her, like, when can I start back laying on my tatas, and then when can I start taking this bra? I think I'm literally living in this thing. It stinks. It's annoying. I'm done, okay? I'm done with it. All right, so it wouldn't be a day with Lauren if I did not come to Target. Favorite store of all stores, you guys. I got me some little pickups, some fruits, and whatnot. And what I am back at home, okay? So, I had to run a few errands. Um, I did, I'm not gonna lie, I got some Sonic. So I can't work out for eight weeks. I think he said eight weeks, y'all. It's so many weeks, so I'm trying to get everything in order, but he said eight weeks. But I can resume normal activity, like I can go on a treadmill, I can do squats, I can do lower body activity workouts, but I cannot do like upper body, like lifting anything or running. So I'm definitely gonna try doing that, maybe some yoga or something, or just some, some squats, or yeah, you know, hit the treadmill even, or the Stairmaster, whatever, you know, just something I can do to get back healthy, because you guys know I'm really trying to start my workout journey, but, and my healthy food journey consists, look, honey girl, so I ran some errands and I got me some Sonic, okay? So I had to bang a cheese stick. It's so unhealthy, right? Eat me up in the comments, y'all, because I'm eating so unhealthy. And then I got a mini Sonic glass, my favorite, with Reese's and Snickers, but I am drinking my water, so I'm not gonna lie. And I got old stuff from yesterday, y'all. Don't mind me, bitch. Managing a, a life of a single mom, a businesswoman, I'm so excited to start my business, you guys. My lashes look so goddamn weird. I'm doing a pamper day. Stay tuned for that. I'm actually going to do that this weekend. Um, I have someone coming to help me again. Joel's sister is coming to help out, so I'm excited for that. But, yes, you guys, bear with me on these adventures. Oh, my God, I just fell. Don't mind the mess. It's My house is a mess, okay? I'm about to do that after I get this video up, because I got to get this video up first for y'all, but... I'm excited. I'm starting my business and it's called mom's brand. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my Instagram. So I'm excited for that, but we're going to get into this Q and a, <laughs> do you guys hear that baby? <laughs> Her back. I had to turn the heat off because I am so bipolar with the temperature. Like Comment down below. Do you guys do that too? Where you're like, you're cold, you're hot, you're cold, you're hot. And I'm just like, okay. So I just turned my hair off. I turned my heat off. My heat was on. I am so mad. So I'm all over the place today. Like my mind is in another planet. I just deleted. I'm sitting here deleting the video clips. I just deleted the intro parts. Like I'm so pissed right now. 
I'm so pissed. Oh my God, I'm so pissed. I am all over the place today, but y'all, basically I have recorded like um, my intro, like I was talking this morning, me showering and then just showing y'all like my bra and stuff. Like, I am so mad though. Like I am so mad, I just deleted that. I've just been having a really bad week, like this week. And that just pissed me off, me just edit, deleting them things. Cause my camera had a, ran out of storage and I was deleting things and I'm getting to the end and I'm just deleting, just deleting it. Like that's pissed. If you a blogger, you know the pain. Had a whole thing of footage and just deleted it. That just pissed me off. But we don't get into these questions. So Kimi Kai, Kimi J, she said, why did you get your boobs done? They were super nice. So my boobs, I got my boobs done because um, you guys probably didn't see it like when I wear like certain stuff they look probably like real full but like without a t-shirt or like a without a bra or any type of support they're really extremely saggy and like even like some clothes too like you can just tell they're real saggy and flabby and, like even to the side they're just like flat they're really flat like it looks like a flat basketball so I just didn't like the appearance and I feel like I don't like wearing bras, so I feel like if I was to get them done, it would look good as if I have a bra and I have no bra on. So I literally don't even need a bra anymore. So really, the surgery did me justice. Like I don't, I actually don't need a bra now. So if I don't want to wear a bra because I don't like to, I don't have to now. So no, I do not have to wear a bra because y'all be, y'all used to come for me, Lauren. You put a bra on. No, I'm not wearing no wear no bra. Bras actually make my back hurt. Like they make my back hurt because my boobs are so big. So. That was good why I got my boobs done for smaller size and so I don't have to wear a bra. It's so. Nisa, Janae. Hey Nisa, <laughs> that's my friend, y'all, she cool. She said, how was the pain after? So the pain after was actually not that bad. Like when I got out of anesthesia in the surgery room and I came home, I don't remember that whole day. Like when I vlogged, you guys see me eating them hot Cheetos. That was actually the next day. Like the whole day of surgery, I did not know. Like I don't remember anything. I remember, I remember waking up on the surgery table like after like the post thing and like they're waking you up and then like talking to them and how are you feeling and like the surgeon checking me but I don't remember anything like going home, getting in the house, I don't remember none of that. The anesthesia is good, it like it knocks you out completely, you're completely asleep. It's, it's Hamid, I can't pronounce her name but and she said what's worse, this with the BBL, like I said this, um, the boob surgery actually the pain is not that bad like there's honestly no, there's really honestly no pain. Like you're just sore. Um, they gave you this, the surgery place, they give you a lot of medicine after so you feel fine. You don't have to worry about nothing. So the surgery medicine actually helps you sleep. Like the pain meds actually help you sleep. And if you are sore, like after the first week, like I'm six days post surgery. So after that, like you don't even need your pain medicine anymore. Like I don't even need my pain medicine anymore. I am good, I am okay. What cup size are you now? So before I was like a D 38 or 36. I haven't measured it, but I'm for sure a C now. Like they're swollen right now. You guys can see they're swollen, but and they're so like lifted. Like I'm swollen. I had this really thick band on, but I think I'm a C now. I think I'm a really good C. Like I said, they're a little swollen. But I'm honestly a, a good C. Like I don't even need a bra. They're so perky. Like I and I think C cup is perfect. I actually um told the surgeon I want a B cup and he said um because, you know, he does a lot of different boobs. He said a C cup would fit me well. So he recommended a C cup, and I'm actually satisfied. Like, he did so good. Um, and that's PYT Hope 17. Yeah, and she said, why did you want the surgery, and what was the main goal accomplished? Like I said, smaller and more lifted. So I had volume when I had a bra on. When I had a bra on, my stuff was flat, honey. Flat, them things was hanging. She's going crazy in the back. Abulu, this is my girl Haley. Shout out to Haley, y'all. She has a lingerie line and a stripper line. She be having them stripper clothes, so go shop with her. But um, did you did you just get a reduction or implants? No implants, y'all. All natural, boo boo. So no one can say, oh my god, you plastic, you fake, honey. This is on me right here. Booty is on me. Boobs right here. It's just surgically advanced and enhanced. Okay. So no implants. I just got a reduction. I guess they take. Um, boob tissue out and it's I got a reduction and a lift so my price was up there when I paid but it was worth it very well worth it um, Like I said they reducted it and they lifted it and this is the last question. This dude is so funny slick Vic Rick the Don Do you still I had this screenshot this because it was so funny. It's almost some. Um, do you still feel it? 
do you still feel it if sucked on? <laughs> and that's actually a good question though because they, um, even like the nurse was saying like um, the this, this surgery has a lot to do with nerves. Your boobs has a lot of nerves in it and you breastfeed, you know, you have milk and everything in your boobs. So that's why that your boobs can get bigger and smaller. There's a lot of nerves and just tissue going on. So um, there is no feeling like a little bit of feeling. I can feel a little bit, but not as much. They're very tender and just like, I gotta, you know, my body has to adjust to my new boobs. So no, my nipples are like flat. Like if I was to show you guys, my nipples, you guys would be hard to be freaked out. They take off your nipple during surgery and then they put it back on. So my nipples have been removed and put back on the whole areola, nipple, everything. So they're flat right now, but um, they said you'll start to get your feeling back and your sensitivity and that's how your nipples get big from sensitivity. So I'll definitely be getting that back. So yes, once I get this, these tachas built on and you gonna feel it. We're gonna end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yay. And um, yeah, you guys, I'm very excited for my boob surgery, but I'm gonna end this video. Surgeon was so good. If you guys wanna know who he is, he's in the Houston Sugarland. If you guys wanna know, you want to get your boobs and let me know and I'll tell you guys to my surgeon, but he's really good. The staff is really good. I had a really great experience. So shout out to my surgeon and I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm out. Bye.